Hey, you Billy the Kid, I'm fighting on the 16th of December in the Olympia on FCC for the lightweight title, not to be missed, let's go. Um, my story starts from boxing at a young age um, and then my boxing gym shut down unfortunately due to funding and the healthcare of the uh, head coach. So I ended up drifting to the MMA with um, one of my best friends and head coach Tim Barnett who brought me down to Trident. I did actually start originally in karate but I never quite quite took to it because the, of the contact side of it. I was always wanting to go to the boxing but I was never old enough until I hit 11, 12 and then my dad took me over to the boxing gym where I actually started uh, straight after the karate. Um, yeah, and, and I loved it, loved it. I had um, 10 amateur fights and boxed in the ABAs so I had pretty extensive good amateur career. Yeah, I've seen a few clips of him. Um, he had his debut in 2014, so he's been around the game for years, even though he's only had one more fight from me. He's had some extensive breaks, I don't know why. But um, he's got some good wins on his record, he's 5-1, and, one, and as I always say, I'm always looking for the hardest opponent to take me to the next level, to the pro game. I want that experience, I want to be going through them dark, gritty rounds in the cage. Um, and I, just, I, I, think, I think his style suits me, personally, yeah. We're going for my past fights, obviously three first round finishes. It would, I would, I would be surprised if it went out the first round. I would, it would surprise me. The plan after that is professional, definitely. Um, I'm 26 now, so I'm not looking on spending too much time around the amateur game. Um, only fighting MMA for two years, and I've picked up another two belts, another organisation, looking for the FCC title next. So it's all going good, and it's all Tim's plan from the start. It was his vision. He always said we'll get a couple of amateur belts. We'll finish with a good record, a few good knockouts, and then we'll take it to the pro game. And it's just, it's, it's happening. So I've just got massive belief and trust in my coaches. I just really see it as, as for what it is. And it's a sport competition, and I'm in there to win. I just, it's, it's like, I don't like to, it's not too much of a big deal in my head anymore. It's just like another day in the office, just another weekend, it's just another Saturday. I'm doing it every day in the gym, so it's not falling to me. Basically. Let's get a little sound clip from me, just like, hi, I'm Billy Adams, flying yeah. on Saturday the 16th of December, get down to the Liverpool Olympia. Just something along that yeah. margin, I like. Can you say that again, sorry? Uh, your name. Yeah. The date you're fighting. Yeah. And get down to the Olympia. Yeah. Hi, I'm Billy the Kid. I'm fighting on the 16th of December in the Olympia. Get down, it's not going to... Wait there, scratch that, go again, yeah. yeah. Hi, I'm Billy the Kid. Wow, what was it again? Hi, I'm Billy Kane. I'm fighting on Saturday the 16th of December. Yeah. Get down to the Liverpool Olympics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi, I'm Billy the Kid. I'm fighting on the 16th of December down in the Impel of... Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> Have you seen these clips of Mike Tyson trying to do you know, this you know on the average? Like, it's not just that, mate. It's like, because you've just done a full workout. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, so yeah. We, should, we should really do all these interviews. At I'm the trying to rush it as well. Ready, here we go. One, one take now. Nice slow, mate. Hi, I'm Billy the Kid. I'm fighting on the 16th of December in the Olympia on FCC for the lightweight title. Not to be missed. Let's go. Perfect. Well, yes. Hi, I'm Jack McLeod. I fight out of Trident Martial Arts Whittle. I'm 22 years of age with a record of 3 and 1. Sometimes you can get stagnant environments in gyms where everybody's happy to like, oh yeah, we'll just make it to the next fight, oh, we'll just make it to... No one here thinks like this. It's, we're doing this, we're doing it next, next, next. We never take anything for granted and we always work hard towards the next fight. Everybody wants to be at the top and we're all striving to be the best we can. Whether it's jujitsu, whether it's the, gra the grappling and wrestling, whether it's the striking, whatever it is. We all want to be solid mixed martial artists right the way through. Everybody pushing, I think, always gives a good, um, good environment in the gym and pushes everybody on to be better. Yeah, I'm happy. I'm, I'm excited to show um, a little bit more in my show, me fight in December. Not that I think it's going to go too much further than the last three, but I've already spoke to Shanu. I've told him I'm going to write mine and Billy's down on a piece of paper, and I can bet you that within a minute or two, I, I'll be pretty much bang on. Oh.